saying something. You think that wearing pants is a light thing. A man in a dress, he think wearing a dress is a light thing. You think that you can walk around and murder your own kind is a light thing. Right. You think selling a $10 piece of crack is a light thing. But there's a very grave penalty that comes with that. And it's death. You got it? Read it. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68. God is talking to you. When you dwelled in the wilderness, not no other nation, you are the Israelites of the Bible. That's right. Right. You are a very great people in the Bible. The Bible was wrote about you. Listen up. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Egypt represents your enslavement. God was telling you, you are going into slavery because of your wickedness. That's why you was back to the shores of America. Right. Why ain't your religious books and teachers teaching you this? You know why? Because the so-called white man and the Arab man who is under the rule of the so-called white man, his mission is to dumb you down. That's right. This is the answer. This is the answer to all of the black leaders' questions. Why is the black and Latino suffering so much? Why is he in the ghetto? Why is he the first fired last hire? Why is it so easy to murder your own in broad daylight? Right. Why? This is why, read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Who was brought on cargo slave ships? If the Bible's not a true book, I don't know what is. Because it prophesied your downfall. It prophesied your enslavement. It told you what nations would come against you and put you in slavery before it happened. Sis, did you know that the Bible was wrote about you? But knowing that, what must you do? Don't you have to act accordingly to the Bible? The Bible says that a woman's not supposed to dress like that. Showing your camel toe. No you got a camel toe, sis. If you up here, what you up here to do? We're you here to, to teach clown? our people. You up here no, to clown? sis. No, you listen. Up here to clown? The first thing I said you to you, did you know that the Bible said that you're a great people? Is that a clown? When we say, when we say that you're a great people, is that a clown? If you listen up to the answer, you ask me a question. I said, sis. Exactly, we're here to talk. You know why they're killing over stank butt? You know why they're killing over stank butt? That's the problem. That's the problem with you black men. You so weak, that's why the women talk to you the way they talk. That's the byproduct that you, if we were talking about, here go the cheap crack, all the crack whores would come over here, right? Cause I notice I hear them snickering down the street. Well, if, how you know I was talking to you? I didn't name you. I didn't name you, then shut up and listen, black people. Shut up and listen. You will see how great you was. Read it. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. This is why you was put on cargo slave ships, because those are the ones who taught you. Those valid black women taught you. That's why you're murdering in the street. You know why? Because the black father in the house was too weak. Read. By the way, wherever I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. That's why you're in America right now. If we said where the cheap crack was, we would have everybody's ear. If we told you where the cheap purple was, we would have everybody's ear. Right. Understand that. It ain't our words that you hate. It's the most high words that you hate because we're reading out of the Bible. Understand that. We're reading out of the Bible. You want us to preach white man Jesus to you. We're not going to do that. We're going to teach the true Jesus who's a black man. That's Read. right. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. That's why you were sold to your enemies, sister. That's why. Right there. I'm talking to you, yes. Yes, I'm talking to you. Read. For bondmen and, bo and excuse me, for bondmen and bondwomen. This is why you were brought into slavery because of your wickedness. This is why it's so easy for you to kill one another in broad daylight. 
and everybody's okay with it. Everybody's okay with it. They're not going to find that man's killer. You know why? Because wicked stick to a wicked code. Y'all unify yourself against the Bible. Y'all hoop and holler and talk about, you ain't supposed to teach the Bible that way. Give me Isaiah 58 and 1. Let's see. Let's use the Bible to explain everything that we say. We're not going to go off from it. We're not going to use no other book. This is the answer. Read. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Read up. Cry aloud. What did the Bible say? Cry aloud. We're supposed to be out here crying aloud. Read. Spare not. And it says we're not supposed to spare your feelings. We're not emotional men out here. We are right. men of the most high God. That's right. If you don't like it, don't listen. If you don't like it, don't listen. But you listen to the so-called white man when he put them handcuffs on you, don't you? You in jail right now. You in bondage to crack. You in bondage to dope. You in bondage to whoremongering. You're in bondage to being hoes and sluts. Black men, whoremongers. You're hoes as well. Right. But you notice, you notice... When we say something about the black man, the black man don't hoop and holler the same way the black woman does. Give me 1 Timothy 2 and 11. This is what we're doing. What you don't understand is we're building our community up. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Snap in your neck. You're looking like a bird. Cause you an ostrich. Read. Be silent. First Timothy chapter two, verse eleven. Let the woman learn in silence. The Bible says, "Shut your mouth, black woman." See, but you don't like when we read the Bible the way it's supposed to be read. You have a problem with it. This is building our people up. That's right. This is building this up because how are you going to tell a drug dealer to stop selling drugs nicely? Huh? How are you going to tell a drug dealer to stop? This is how I stopped. I stopped from men of God preaching this word on the streets. That's, right. That's how all of these men stop. Right. That's right. We ain't going to be soft on you. You can't run these black men, black woman. Read. Listen, stop talking. Stop talking. Listen to this. But I suffer not a woman to teach. Nor this is what the Bible says. A woman ain't supposed to teach you, black man. You're supposed to teach her. Right. Give me t Titus 2. Give me Titus 2. Our women don't know their role, so the black man don't know his role. Here's the role. Titus 2. Here's the role of the black woman. She's supposed to be at home with her children. You're not supposed to be out here in the streets 24 hours a day. We see you 4 o'clock in the morning, black woman. You got it? But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. This is sound doctrine. This is the thing that makes the most sense. That's what sound doctrine is. To raise the black man up to his position right. as God's on this planet. That's right. Read. That the aged men be sober. You older men. The Bible tells you to stop being crack fiends. Stop being dope fiends. Alcoholics running around drunk all day long. Right. Read. That the aged men be sober, grave, temperate. Sound in faith, in charity, in patience. The aged woman likewise. Listen up, aged woman. This is for you out of the New Testament. Read. That they be in behavior as becometh holiness. Be in behavior that becometh holiness. Not an ostrich. Not walking around popping your neck. Read. Not false accuser. You falsely accuse us. 
Say it again. I thought you guys selling something. I didn't know you guys doing this much. That's okay. That's okay. The age woman, likewise, you are the age woman of our people. You're in your 40s. Right. You're walking around like you in your 20s. Right. Read. That they being behavior has become as holiness. I know you. Stop acting like I don't know you. I'm from the street. I know everybody up here. I know you. You know how I know you? Because you, you were what I once was. I was wicked. I know everything about you. I met that demon before, but I had to cast that demon out of me. Read. Right, right, right. Not false accuser. You falsely accuse us and tell us we're not the Israelites of the Bible. I need Revelations 1 and 14. That's because you said that, though. Be quiet and listen. Be quiet. Be quiet and listen. When that white judge smashes that gavel, you shut up. You're right. See, but the Bible said you would lose your position of power and have to be under him. See, we can explain the reason and the conditions that we're in with this Bible. That's the difference. We're not talking out the side of our necks. You got it? Revelations chapter 1 verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Here's the description of Christ, the black Messiah, the black man. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. That same hair that you black women hate, that you perm, you have woolly hair according to the Bible. It's a godly attribute. Read. And his eyes were as flame of fire, and his feet like a to fine brass. What color is brass? Does anybody out here know? Brother Filman, you. What color is brass? Brother, you feel me? What color is brass? You, you. What color is brass? Brown. Check out this already brown in color. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. Now, if you burn toast in a furnace, I bet you this little kid, because he don't have pride like you adults. If I ask him, if you burn white toast in a toaster, young man, what color does it get? Young man, little guy with the books. Let me ask you a question, young man. If you burn white toast in a toaster, what color does it get? What color does it get, little guy? You're the only young person on the block. You. Read. Read it again. And it's sleep like it to fine bread. As if they burned in a furnace. Well, let me explain it to you. Something that's burned in the furnace or burned in a toaster, it's black. Song of Solomon 1 and 5. You're going to learn something here today. You're going to learn self-esteem. Because the only time our people know how to talk nicely to one another is when they're trying to use and abuse the other. When, when you're trying to get a dollar out of somebody or 50 cents out of somebody, you know how it go. That's the only time you are, are humble. That's the only time you're, you're uh, give me a word, cool with somebody. Read. Sons of Solomon, verse 1, the sons of Solomon. Who is Solomon? He's the king of Israel. That's right. Understand, this is his description because he says it out of his own mouth. Verse 5, I am black. I am what? I am black. Who said the Israelites ain't black? Right. Was that young lady saying that we ain't the Israelites? Cause she 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 sees she sees herself the way she was taught. She sees herself the way she was taught. Read. I am black but comely, meaning I'm black and beautiful. This is what King Solomon said. But you men walking around selling drugs for 31 years. 30 years. You ain't get to a a, a half ounce yet. It means it ain't for you. Get a damn job. You smoking weed, 90 going north all day. Bruh, you got a question, bruh? You got a question? You got a question? Did you know the Bible was wrote about you? You didn't know that? It ain't? All right, Deuteronomy 28, 68 real quick. See what his Check this out. See what his nationality is first. Check this out. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. 
It's the Old Testament. Let me ask you this. What if I say the New Testament? Would that change your mind? Now listen, that's you, you, you intelligent Negro, huh? Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Egypt is a Greek word that means slavery. He said that you're going into slavery again. But your mode of transportation is going to be very peculiar. It's going to be like no other nation on the planet. How did your forefathers get here to this land? They was already here. Nobody brought us here. Oh, nobody brought us here. Who agrees with that? I didn't ask you that, bro. I asked you, how was our forefathers brought here? Some of them. Oh, yeah. Some of them was one of them. You are right. Some of our people were brought in slavery. You, the so-called blacks, Haitians, and Jamaicans, you were brought here on cargo slave ships. The, incorrect. Say, incorrect. Incorrect. We've been here 4,000 years. You're, 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 you're thinking about the, t the 10 tribes of Israel, right? Yeah. And the Lord shall bring them to Egypt again with ship. So, we wasn't brought here on in slavery. Some of us were, not all of us. Your forefathers was brought here no, on cargo were. slave ships. No, were. Read. Were. We were here. By the way, where I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So, why is there records of it? Why do we have the record of the Israelites right here? You prove that. You prove it. Give me Leviticus chapter 18. Because we see we have an Egyptian, Egyptologist, no brain dude. Read 18 and 1. Leviticus chapter 18 verse 1. And the Lord spoke unto Moses saying, Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them, I am the Lord your God. After the doings of the land of Egypt, where ye dwelt, shall ye not do. So the Bible says everything that the Egyptians had to offer, don't do. Why is there a separation between the Israelites and the Egyptians? Why? Why? Bible's way older than that. Why do we have records of the stories that's in the Bible? This man is a fool. This man is a fool posing as somebody that's intelligent. This is historical fact. That's the white man's book. That's the white man's book. Give me Song of Solomon 1 and 5. Bring it out. See, the brother don't read. If he read, if he read, he would know that King James was a black man. We ruled Europe for a thousand years. A thousand years ago, the Moors had Spain, right? How was they Christians then, dummy? How was they Israelites and Jews then, dummy, a thousand years before that? No, you don't have to follow us. You got to follow the Bible. Read. Sons of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. I am black. This is King Solomon saying this. This is the white man's book. Why wouldn't he take it out? Read it again. I am black. Read it again. I am black. You dummy, shut your mouth. You don't know nothing about this Bible. Read. I am black, but comely. We're not going to stand for no gainsayers that speak against our culture, our history. But this is what happened to you. Give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. This is what happened to our people. You need to read. Ishmael was never given the covenant. You are our enemies. We know this Bible. We know this Bible. Read. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage. Who discontinued from their heritage? Those Arabs, they know who they are. They can date all the way back to Ishmael. Who are you though? Who are you? Where you come from? Crickets. Ask the Arab where he comes from. He knows. Ask the Chinese man and the Japanese man. He knows. Ask the so-called white man. He knows. Why don't you know? Why don't you know? And why don't you care? Why don't you care? 
Look at a, wo a woman's feet. Give me out Deuteronomy 7 and 6. How is this wickedness? How are we disrespecting anybody when we say things like this? You got it? Read it. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Listen, to what, listen to what God says about you. Read. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. God said you're a holy people. You're like no other nation on the face of the earth. But you act, you act like you're the, you're the worst of all things. You're, you act like you're the worst thing that God's created. Read. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people. How is this disrespect? How is this disrespect when we tell you that God said you're a special people? That's right. If we said the black woman is so beautiful, oh baby, I want to get in your pants, you open up your legs then every night at the club because somebody enticed you with some wickedness. You like to hear those nice things. But those things send you straight to death. This is what's going to bring you life. That's right. How are we disrespecting anybody for saying, get off a of crack? How is that disrespect? But how is it disrespect when we tell the black man, stop selling drugs to your own kind, you house Negro? Is that disrespectful? It is. You think that's disrespectful, brother? In what way? Can't hear you. What's tearing the family Oh, okay. We're in agreement. I thought, okay. We're in agreement, brother. Read. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. How is this disrespectful? When we tell you what God said about you, that you're special. That's right. How it's that demon that's inside of you that want to rebel against God's words. You yes. think we're out here disrespecting you. Right. But guess what? We come from these very streets. That's right. We come from these very streets. We're right. exactly what you want. We're exactly what you were. I mean, we were what you are right now. That's right. Wicked. But there's a time that come in your life where you got to change or you're going to get death. See, but ain't nothing worse. Ain't nothing worse than an intelligent, no good, no teaching, nowhere out in the street when the black man is dying. There's no good, there's no use for those type of people. All of this useless information you got in your head. Where are your, where's, hey brother, where, where's your school at? Where's your school at? Where's your school at? That means you don't have none. See, the Bible tells us to always be ready to give an answer. But the intelligent man who always have useless knowledge, don't be out here teaching. Don't risk his life for his people. There's no way in hell our people should be able to shoot one another down in broad daylight and get away with it. Right. That's pure D wickedness. But you deserve everything you get when you get locked up for 50 years or life in prison. Then your mama want to cry for you. But your mama should have been teaching you this Bible. Because with this Bible, it teaches the black man, a Latino man, and a Native American man how to be men. That's right. You ain't been taught to be a man yet until you stand up for your people. Right. You think because you pay a couple bills that you men, that you tall, that you a male, that makes you a man. But when you go to the penitentiary, you young boys, the first people you call is your mama. That's the first person you call. Mom, help me out of my situation. But you wasn't a, you was a man when you was murdering your own kind. That's idiot. That's idiotic. Where did I have you leave off at? Read it again. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Bring it out. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. We know you've been taught to be nobodies. Your history is so long, but you were only given one month out of the year to observe it. But every day is your history. Every day you should be observing this Bible, these law, statutes, and commandments. You are a special people. That's right. Read. Above all the people 
that are upon the face of the earth. What? Above all the people that are upon the face of the earth. The reason why you were put into slavery in the first place and became the tail of all the nations, where all the nations could put their boots on your neck, is because of the way you act. Right. It's the way you act. Nobody picks up a book, reads nothing. You don't try to educate yourself. You don't try to further yourself. You ain't trying to get a trade to do anything to support your family. You think selling drugs is going to be enough. Period. Or doing drugs, exactly. That's not a cool thing. BET and MTV pushed that doctrine in your mind and made you think that being a gangster is cool. Right. That ain't never been cool. That's right. Pimps being pimps, prostituting your sisters. You think that's cool. You're an idiot. But the hoe, she's an idiot as well. Because how are you going to belittle yourself and open your, your legs up, 90 going north, and degrade your body with multiple men? Deuteronomy 28 and 48. Understand something. We, out, we ain't out here to joke. We ain't out here to play because this is a serious business. Right. The most high is the one who put us in this position. Man didn't elect us. Christ, in the name of his father, chose us. But according to the scriptures, his sheep will hear his voice. Time will tell whether or not you're his sheep. We don't know until you die. And if you didn't repent by the time your death comes, we know you wasn't a sheep. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. You're going to serve who? Thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. The Most High sent all of these nations against you. Why? Why? Because it's okay in your mind to be drug dealers. It's okay in your mind to be drug users. It's okay in your mind to be homosexuals and murderers. All of this is okay. Whoremongering, whores, these things is okay to you. But God had a judgment for you, Read. In hunger and in thirst and in nakedness. Listen, God said you would have to depend on your enemies for your food, your water, and your clothing. Where do you get your food from? In this neighborhood alone, where do you get your food from? Where do you got to go to get your bread at? Your canned goods? Your bottled waters? Where do you got to go? And who owns it? This is how much you lack knowledge. Because other nations can come in your neighborhood and make it pop. Right. But if you're in agreement, sister, what should you do? Follow this Bible, right? Let me, let me say something. Don't walk too fast. I want to say one thing. Listen to this. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore, shall I serve thy enemies? Because of your wickedness, you're going to have to serve your enemies, right? Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. And in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. God said, because of your wickedness, he's going to send the white man against you, right? And you're going to have to depend on him for your food, your water, your clothing, and in want of all things. That means everything you can think of. That includes your very opinion. Because your concept of God was taught to you by your slave master, right? Watch this. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Were you not someone who had a yoke of iron upon your neck? There are people not, this is the problem. You should know this. These are things you should know. How much does a gram of purple weigh? What's heavier, a gram of purple or a gram of cocaine? What's heavier? I asked you a mathematical question. I didn't ask you whether you do it or not. I said, what weighs more? A ton of feathers or a ton of bricks? You should know the answer. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck and turn. They're going to tell you, brother, he knew that mathematical equation, but what's your nationality? See if you know that. 
Breathe. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. If you didn't know who had the yoke of iron upon their neck, I'ma tell you then. You so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Yokes of iron was placed upon your neck to a di until a disposition of time. Here go the disposition of time. Read. Until. Until he had destroyed thee. The day that you were mentally, spiritually, and physically destroyed, the yokes of iron came off your neck. Right. And you would operate accordingly to whatever the white man told you to do. That's your curse. That's your judgment against the Most High God. What you say, sis? Jesus, we need to live spiritually, socially, mentally, spiritually, be another person. That's the meaning of hell. That's the meaning of what? Hell. hell. All right. Hey, she's not wrong, though. That is the meaning of your hell. Because God said hell is slavery when you lose your rulership. Then that's an idiotic statement you made. We're not going to agree with that. Yes, you are. The Bible says our people are smitten with madness. That's why you walk around with cuckoo clocks over your head. Shalom, Israel. I'm Eldon Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.